Hello, I'm Jamie Costello with your WMAR 2 News Update. Baltimore County is now expanding its face mask requirement. People ages 2 and older, you're going to have to wear your face mask at any indoor public space starting Thursday at 9 o'clock in the morning. County Executive Johnny Olszewski says that this new requirement is in addition to the rules at food and stores. Recreational facilities, religious services will also fall under the new guidelines. The Towson Chamber of Commerce says it's happy with the businesses that are already following these guidelines. The ones that are vagrantly not being responsible are responsible because they're messing it up for all the restaurants that are following the rules, doing the safe things. Now this announcement comes after a surge of COVID-19 cases in the county. The county has added nearly 2,000 positive cases and 45 new deaths so far this month. The head of Maryland's election board wants an additional $20 million for this year's November general election. State Administrator Linda Lamone says that the fiscal year 2021 budget isn't big enough for the upcoming election. So the board is submitting a request for the extra money. Part of the funds would go toward creating and sending out mail-in ballots. Although the November election is seated to be an in-person, slated to be an in-person vote, election officials still expect some voters to request mail-in ballots. And some parents are calling for a hybrid in-person learning model for the upcoming school year so their children with special needs get a quality education. Anne Arundel County Public Schools announced that it would use virtual learning for the first semester. Parents of students with special needs in that district say they don't want to keep seeing their kids regress. Why can't we find those solutions to keep our kids safe at the same time meeting the needs? Because my biggest concern is this regression that is happening. And, and how are they going to make that up? We can't teach them things later. If she loses the ability, the little bit of walking she can do, if she loses that, she'll never get it back. The first draft of the virtual plan will be presented to the Board of Education tomorrow night, and school leaders say they want to hear feedback from families. Howard County has just released another plan to protect downtown Ellicott City from future flooding. The Ellicott City Watershed Master Plan aims to help with things like flood mitigation and economic development. It fits in with County Executive Calvin Ball's Safe and Sound Flood Mitigation Plan, and it also includes some suggestions for people who live right in the area. The county is asking for public feedback on the watershed master plan that will go through August the 22nd. Another warm start to the day tomorrow with mainly dry conditions for the morning, but as we head into the afternoon, that's where we will see the chance for showers and thunderstorms, some which could be strong to severe. Not going to stop us from warming up into the mid-90s during the afternoon. We'll get to 96 at the harbor, 95 in Columbia, 94 over in Elkton. Seven-day forecast shows temperatures will be slowly cooling to the lower 90s as we approach the weekend. Rain chances linger through Friday, and then we're looking mainly dry for Saturday and Sunday. But temperatures will return to the mid to upper 90s by Monday. Patrick, thank you. Click with us online at WMAR2news.com for updates on top stories and breaking news. Also for news and weather while you're out there on the go, download the WMAR2 News app in the App Store. You can watch live radar and get breaking news set right to your phone. Thanks for watching. I'm Jamie Costello. This WMAR2 News update is sponsored by Jones Junction.